and you should have played James Wolf from Act Attack and signed a full review of Analog. Now this application is really awesome and very powerful but very easy to use. Um, as you can see in the side here you have your sort of filters that you've applied to your photo or picture or whatever. Um, of course you see many variety, uh, varieties to choose from. And also on borders here if you click the button up here you come up with um, sort of different um, sort of different uh, sort of filters sort of slash um, uh, sort of borders. Uh, whatever whatever you want to call it. Now of course there are some here as well, that's quite a few, uh, but there could be more added soon in the update, but not really too sure. Um, but anyway, moving on, if you see here's this dragon photo here, so I'll have an image here from earlier on. Um, see here you've got an image of a horse. Uh, of course if you click here that will uh, turn it on or off. Uh, and here you've got your cropping, so you can crop the photo to your desire you wish to have, like so. If I can get a picture like that, I can have it like so. Click done and it's cropped. Uh, here I can have a rotation, so you can desire to choose which rotation you wish to have. Uh, now let's look through the different filters you have here. You can choose from boost, gold hour, nor, sorry, I don't, don't know that properly. It's quite nice. Uh, nor, purple haze, uh, nikulule, one that says X process, here, uh, and then brown betty. You got Dark Knight, you got uh, Hefka, uh, Kuto, uh, Haskanti, I don't know, Luma, uh, Hawkeye, um, you got Someday, uh, Red Scale, uh, Bromdy, Image, uh, Toy Box, Memory, it's quite nice, uh, and you got Sand to Go. Um, I quite like the Golden Hour, and let's go on to Borders. So you see, I've got my different borders here. So you have your um, sprocket, uh, your black, uh, your white, your uh, sorry, your view, uh, your sort of a uh, few square, uh, retro, retro square, uh, Fuji, uh, Fuji square, roll, contact, um, paper, and darkroom. Now I'm going to choose the one I wish to choose from, so I'm going to go for retro, so it's pretty nice indeed. Uh, if you want to re-edit the crop size because it doesn't really fit the actual scale at all, you can do so by like this. Uh, if I can get this. So if I want to go down a little bit, I can, like so. So now you can see it's all fit into the actual picture frame itself. So once you've done that and you go up to the top here where it says analog and all these different um, file edits share if you window and help, uh, you're going to go and press uh, sorry, you're going to press share, and of course, then you're going to go and press uh, send to email, cloud app, Facebook, Flickr, Pixar, or Tumblr. Or if you want to do it really easy, you can go down to the bottom here and press the share button here to come up with different various options here as well. So you can click on the save as onto your desktop, and I'm going to push image, I'm going to put testing, testing image. I'm going to press save and once it's saved you double click it to open it and there you are, you have your picture on what it was, well, what you created basically so that's what it is, so that's really good and it's very easy to use and it isn't really too, you know, ain't too confusing to be honest um, you know it's it's not too expensive, uh, I forgot what the price was now stupid me, <laughs> but um, the price is about I'll, um, you know, in the in the range of one pound, something like that. Um, but anyway, check my blog for that because um, I'll put it down there. But anyway, that's just a full review of Analog, and I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope to see you in my next videos. Thank you very much.